Hey guys, I just wanted to put up a quick video. My the last video I put up, very dead, dead dog serious. I meant every word of it. This world is changing. Uh, if you see this video, I hope you go back and listen to that one. Uh, and. Don't go overboard in what I say in the other one, but just go listen to it if you're a young fella. Now, the thing I want to talk about right now is uh, echoing one of my friends who had gotten asked about first-time sparring. And I, I'm going under the assumption that the guy was asking my buddy, uh, you know, what to expect when you start going to a boxing gym. Uh, I come from a different world, and I did things a little differently with Joe. Uh, Joe was basically slung into the wolves. Uh, but to uh, give you a little a gist on why you don't... you don't want to go this route that Joe went through and that I went through uh, decades and decades ago uh, back when there was no choice I mean you, uh, you know, back when I was a young guy going into to the gym for the first time was 10 years old and I was slung at the wolves just turned 10 but uh, for guys today going into the gym, you don't you don't really want to just get slung to the wolves. And most of these places are not going to sling you to the wolves. You can go into a, a boxing gym today. Uh, they'll teach you how to slip, move, catch punches, parry, you know, the whole nine yards. Uh throw combinations, teach you how to jab. I mean, they'll, they'll just teach you everything. How to throw hooks, crosses, the whole nine yards. And you don't really have to apply the wares in the gym. So, as far as sparring goes, if you're an older fella and you want to go into the gym and try to get in shape or maybe you're in your mid or late 20s and don't really want to compete, or 30s or 40s even uh, you don't have to and nobody will be really expecting you to unless you ask for it um, any good decent gym is going to start you off very very slow uh, it, like I said I, I was slung to the wolves uh, I slung my son Joe to the wolves, but uh, Joe was had just turned 13 years old and was uh, five foot five, I believe, and weighed 150 pounds. He's a big, thick young boy. Uh, now he's pushing five, almost five ten, and almost 200 pounds. So. It's a little different, the route we're taking and, and what he does. Um, but for the first two months of him, it was, he was with a wolf. <laughs> but I, I really don't suggest that for anybody going into a boxing gym. Um, I worked with him a little bit at home first. Uh, and, you know, with my limited skills as an old man, but uh, you really, if, I, if you're just a kid and you're going into a gym, let's say you're anywhere from a preteen to a teen, uh, even on up into your 20s, uh, you maybe be in there a couple of months before you even spar. Get yourself built up, and the sparring that that you choose should be sparring that you ask for. You guys can go back and look at uh, 
Number one, you haven't seen Joe Sparhart on this channel, and you probably won't. I'm very limited in what I show. Uh, it probably look hard to you, but it's not hard sparring for, for him, and it wouldn't have been for me. Um, so, but there are, uh, he's got a few videos where he's working with kids that are a lot smaller than him, and he's just leading around. Maybe he'll put a slow jab out, uh, but in no way is he trying to really pop somebody. Nowhere near that. And uh, when he's working with these smaller kids, he's letting them hit him. And he's practicing to move him because he knows they can't really hurt him. Uh, and that may be the type of sparring that you want to start out at, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Uh, get in there with a guy, let that guy try to hit you, or you try to hit that guy, and the other guy be moving to get you built up. Uh, that's what we've done with the smaller guys, and uh, is it helped elevate their game? And before you know it, they're in there, they get comfortable. Uh, if you get in with a bigger, stronger, just overall better guy, uh, and you just try to hit this guy, and this guy's moving around, even though he's not striking you back, or maybe he just little bitty pitter-patters back at you, uh, little bitty tags, where you might get tagged up here, but you're not going to get marked up or... Or hurt, you basically gonna get kind of slapped, and that don't even feel good. But that's a good way, in my opinion, to start. You get in with a very, very uh, seasoned guy. Um, if you're a smaller guy, get in with a bigger guy, and you just try to hit that guy. And a lot of these guys, they'll do that with you, and it's uh, no big thing. A lot of gyms are set up real different. We got another friend. He's you know, going from a beginner stage to an advanced stage. And uh, uh, I guess we do that, but uh, we don't we don't label no stages in anything. Uh, but I want you to keep in mind until you start really getting down with some sparring eventually, you're really not going to get the full gist of it. And... Uh, but I do believe that it's, bet, it's uh, excellent to go to a boxing gym, even if you choose not to spar. Uh, training uh, in, in the same aspects of a competitive boxer is sure-fired quickest way to get you lean, trim, and looking excellent. So even if you're going to a gym to look lean, trim, look great, uh, think about the boxing thing. Uh, Joe Goosen has made a multi-million dollar uh, venture in, uh, Holly, in the Hollywood and L.A. County area in California. Uh helping people just come in and do the uh, practices to lose weight. And, it, and, and the reason why it's took off so good is because uh, it helps you lose weight quicker. Uh, it tones your body up quicker. It, uh, even though you're not weight lifting per se, um, it, it builds the muscle up and makes you look great. And uh, so... Anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Uh, and me, I, I, want, I encourage people to work out at boxing gyms. Uh, it, even right now, if you're scared to death, you're like, oh my gosh. Go in, see if a guy will let you in to do a little bit of work. Uh, hopefully, and chances are, you go in and a gym owner or trainers in there will be like, hey, I get it, I understand. And there'll be no shaming or anything going on with you at all. 
and uh, you go in there two or three months, and before you know it, you want to get in there and do some sparring yourself. Uh, but I would suggest to everybody, start real light. It's a special breed to go in and uh, just start going full on uh, like was done to me and like happened in the 70s, early, or very early 70s, and uh, like what I did with Joe, I wouldn't suggest that for... Uh, any of you kids today, any of you, or, or you know, adult, younger adults, or adults, you know, if you haven't boxed, you start off slow, work yourself up, and then make a decision. Uh, get in there and do the work workouts, and uh, go the, boy, they got this down to an art form. They'll get 20 guys in there at a time, and everybody will be slipping at the same time. They're doing different things, and, uh, it reminds me of the movie The Octagon where they had all these people lined up and they do these same moves at the same time. Now, back in my day, there was nothing of the sort like that going on. Uh, they'd teach you and you just practice these things hundreds and thousands and thousands of times. But uh, as far as people being, I call it an assembly line, uh, and it's not my thing and it's not what I like, uh, but for somebody just coming in off the, uh, uh, I look at, I took Taekwondo when I was a young man, a uh, young boy too, and it was more of an assembly line thing like boxing is today in these gyms. But uh, uh, it, for people just coming in off the street or you know coming in from school or whatever, kids to adults uh, the way they do it today is an excellent way and just start you off real slow and build you up and there's basically a zero intimidation factor to it uh, and when I say basically zero I mean it like this when you first go into the gym uh, you will be intimidated uh, you're gonna be like oh boy what do I do what do I do maybe the first time or two or six but then you start really getting comfortable because somebody will come in there behind you and they'll be the brand new person and you'll be helping them a little bit and as you go you just build that confidence up and it's a confidence builder and I uh, uh, I've heard several champions say that uh, you, you really really that all children in, in the public school systems should be taught a year of boxing. Uh, not to hit each other, but just some of the training in it uh, because it's a good confidence booster. Uh, hitting a bag will get aggression out of kids. and It's just all in all a good win situation. So I just wanted to add my little two cents in there. And, and always, you really need to check out where you go because uh, there are some bad gyms out there. But if you're just going to go to the gym to do weightlifting and weight training, uh, there's bad gyms there too. So there's always uh, a few of these places that are not good, and, uh, very just continually intimidating, and, uh, things like that, or just a whole host of problems, but uh, most of these gyms, the vast majority of them are great gyms, and uh, as many uh, like weightlifting gyms that are not good, uh, there's a lot fewer boxing gyms that are not good. Most of these gyms, they really cater to you, help you out, take you at paces that are comfortable for yourself, and uh, and if you're contemplating it and you haven't done anything before, just look online and uh, look at some of these drills and start doing some things at the house. Uh, a few things that, that you, well, you can pick up on almost everything you can about. If you've got the equipment and you got somebody to work with you, you can train at home today. There's no need to walk into a gym uh, if you just want to do the training. 
but uh, the gym atmosphere will just help your personal growth, and it's the thing to do. Uh, you know, if you're a young boy, being around uh, other boys and being around men is just a good thing for you. Uh, teaches you respect and uh, a lot of good things and a lot of good qualities, and it helps young young boys become men. So. Uh, I would suggest it for everybody. And, uh, like I've heard some world champions say here lately, I wish they'd make it mandatory that for one year of the PE, the physical education, that uh, boys and girls would uh, go through some of the boxing training gambit uh, for a year. Uh, it, it would really be beneficial to society. So thanks for watching this, and we'll check you later.